5 Answers from Billy Graham on the End Times Here are the most asked questions people want to know and these question will be answered by Pastor Billy Graham. Number 1. How bad is the world going to get before God finally steps in and Jesus comes back? Here is what Pastor Billy Graham's answer. The Bible warns us against making precise predictions about the exact time of Jesus' return, but his return is certain, and we may well be living in the last days before he comes again. The Bible says, the night is nearly over, the day is almost here, Romans 13 12. Shortly before returning to heaven Jesus told his disciples that someday he would come back to establish his kingdom. But before that could take place, he said, certain things would have to happen, and we see many of these today. For example, he said that before his return the gospel must be preached throughout the world, see Mark 13 10. Never before has this been possible, but now it is, through radio and the internet and other modern means of communication. You also have placed your finger on another sign Jesus gave, Satan's final attempt to halt God's work through a massive onslaught of evil. Our world is no stranger to evil, Satan has always been working to stop God's plans. But God's enemies now have access to modern weapons of mass destruction, and no one can predict what the outcome will be. Jesus said, You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, nation will rise against nation, Matthew 24 6-7. The real question, however, is this, are you ready for Christ's return? You can be, by turning to him and putting your faith and trust in him. Don't take his warnings lightly, but commit your life without delay to Jesus Christ. Number 2 How is the world going to end? Here is what Pastor Billy Graham's answer. I want to assure you that the world's future is firmly in God's hands, and the world as we know it will only pass away when God intervenes to bring it to an end. Does that mean we'll never experience wars, plagues, or natural disasters that look like they might bring life to an end, just as they have in the past? It's certainly possible, God hasn't promised to deliver us from such tragedies. But they aren't the end, and even in the midst of these we can trust God's promise to be with us. Jesus said, such things must happen, but the end is still to come, Matthew 24 6. What will the end be like? For one thing, it will be sudden and unexpected, and most people will be unprepared. Just as in the days of Noah's flood, a catastrophe will suddenly overtake the earth, and then it will be too late to turn to God. The Bible also hints at total, fiery destruction. The heavens will disappear with a roar, the elements will be destroyed by fire, and the earth and everything, in it will be laid bare, 2 Peter 3:10. The good news is, we need not need fear that day if we know Christ. Is your faith and hope in him, and are you seeking to live for him every day? Since everything will be destroyed, live holy and godly lives as you look forward to the day of God, 2 Peter 3 11 12. Number 3. Why do people try to predict the end of the world? Here is what Pastor Billy Graham's answer. You're right up to a point. Throughout history some people have claimed to know exactly when the world was going to come to an end, and they were clearly wrong. Jesus said, no one knows about that day or hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father, Matthew 24 36. But there is one prophecy about the future that I urge you not to ignore or dismiss as nonsense, and that is the one spoken by Jesus. Jesus warned that someday this world as we know it will come to an end, not because of a war or natural disaster, but because God will intervene and bring it to an end. The future is in God's hands, and he alone will bring an end to the world. And when he does, all the evils of this world will be destroyed and Jesus Christ will come again to rule over a new world in perfect peace and justice. We can barely imagine this, but it gives us hope for a better world. As the Bible says, in keeping with his promise we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth, the home of righteousness, 
2 Peter 3.13. Don't worry about those who falsely claim to know when the world will come to an end. Instead, put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. He alone gives us hope for the future and strength for our lives right now. Make him the foundation of your life, beginning today. Number 4. Why bother preparing for the future if there isn't going to be any future? Here is Pastor Billy Graham's answer. If we knew for certain exactly when Christ was going to come again, and when this present world would come to an end, then yes, what you say might make sense. But we don't know, and that is the way God intended it to be. When Jesus' disciples asked him when he would return to establish his kingdom, he answered by warning them not to be fooled by anyone who claimed to know the answer. Then he said, No one knows about that day or hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father, Mark 13:32. Why is this? One reason, I believe, is because if we did know, we might be tempted to stop doing the work God wants us to do. In one of his parables, Jesus commended the servant who kept on working while his master was away. Then he added, it will be good for that servant whom the master finds doing so when he returns, Luke 12 43. May that be true of us. At the same time, Christ's promise is clear, someday he will come again in glory and power, and all the evil and rebellion and injustice of this present world will come to an end. That day is closer now than it has ever been before. Are you ready for that day? Make sure of your commitment to Christ, and make sure as well that if he does come during your lifetime, he will find you working and living for him. Number 5. Could this prediction of Christ's return be right? Here is Pastor Billy Graham's answer. I don't doubt this writer's sincerity, but the Bible clearly warns us against making precise predictions about Jesus' return. Jesus declared, No one knows about that day or hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father, Matthew 24 36. If God has concealed it from the angels and his Son, why would he reveal it to a mere person? At the same time, the Bible does tell us two very important truths about Christ's second coming. First, it tells us that he will return. Repeatedly, the Bible tells us that God's plan for this world is not finished, and someday Christ will come again to complete that plan. And unlike his first coming, his return will be glorious and recognized by the whole world. Look, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him. Revelation 1 7. The second truth the Bible tells us is that he could come at any moment, and the signs warning of his coming become more and more obvious every day. Once he comes, it will be too late to commit ourselves to him and work for him, now is the time to believe in him and follow him. Jesus said, as long as it is day, we must do the work of him who sent me, John 9 4. If Christ were to return today, would you be ready? You can be by opening your heart and life to Christ, and giving yourself without reserve to him. Don't delay, but by faith commit yourself to Jesus Christ, today. Thanks for listening and watching this video. We pray that this will help you and equip you in your spiritual life. Kindly share this video to someone you think might be benefit. God bless you.